again. Um, I don't know if you can tell by my nasally voice, but I'm at home with the flu today. So I'm just doing a few readings for everybody just to see um, what the current energies are out there. So um, a topic that everybody likes to hear about is um, how the person that they're thinking about views them. So I'm going to get a few oracle cards um, to see, you know, how this person that you're currently thinking about views you. All right, let's start off with a mermaid oracle card. Okay, so this person views you as a drift. Um, they think you've let them go um, and that you've allowed a higher force to take charge. So you're leaving it up to the universe, destiny, um, fate, you name it. That's the current energy of this situation. And they also see you as um, too good for them, basically, because you're taking the higher ground. You are above them. You're above their vibration and they know it and they know that they need to do a lot of work to get you um, and win you over. So what's the next message? <laughs> Wow, higher power. So they see you as an angel. Um, you've come into their life and you're a blessing from the heavens. If you look at this card, um, it's about higher power, higher ground. I mean, we can't get two cards that mean the same thing. It's amazing. Um, so you've let them go because they aren't on your level at the moment and you're waiting for them to raise their vibration and um, they see you as too good for them almost, like this angel that's just beautiful angel that's come into their life, but they just don't know how to get back to you because they just don't know if they're good enough, if they'll ever be good enough. So I'm just going to move these cards over here and I'll just see, um, I'll just get some messages on how you view them. So how do you view this person that you're thinking about? Wow, um, you're falling in love with this person, um, okay, I mean, you can't get a more confident, com ugh. you can't get more confirmation than this card, you are basically in love with this person, and maybe that's why you've let go, you felt your feelings were, you know, really strong, you had a really intense connection with this person, um, and you've decided to let that go because they weren't putting in enough effort and you were just probably, um, sick of the relationship being a little bit too one-sided. Um, we'll get one more message from here. So combination of vision. So you felt like their, um, their views weren't in alignment with yours, um, and they weren't really coming together. Um, so you view them as someone that you did care for, but their behaviors and the circumstances just weren't in alignment with what you wanted. I mean, you're falling in love, in love with this person and, um, you know, maybe they weren't behaving in a way that made you feel secure in the relationship and they weren't willing to commit. So you've decided to take a step back and, um, you know, just just see what happens, like going with the flow through the universe. I'll just get one more card from this deck. Yeah, so you're starting um, a new beginning. You want the old cycle to end, so you've let go of the connection and you're not giving this person any attention because you want the old cycle to end. Um, you want your visions to come together and be more balanced. That's what I'm getting here. All right. So, um, now that you've let go of this person, um, what are they, how are they viewing you in the connection? Um, what is this person thinking about you now that you've let the connection go a little bit? Oh, are they yearning for you? Um, they're longing for you. They're, they're, it's undesired separation. They're pining. They are literally crying out for you to come back to them. Um, so that's great. <laughs> I love that card. Um, all right. And what else? What else are they thinking? Uh, 
Um, so they're trying to <clears throat> maintain their childlike spirit um, and be more like you and not fear the connection, um, you know, and just, you know, be able to fall in love without this fear because they do have these feelings for you and it's really hard for them to get back into a childlike mentality um, where they're not living in fear. So we'll just get um, one last card. Um, the tribe. So they do see you as um, their soul family, um, someone that they could have a future with, um, someone that they could, you know, potentially commit to and marry and have a very strong future with. Um, the tribe is all about, you know, a family building foundation. It's like the four of um, wands, like, you know, it's a, a definitely a solid connection. But maybe this person's been hiding their feelings from you because they're really, really feeling affected by the separation that, that's happening at the moment. All right, so how are you feeling towards them? Um, okay. You're feeling like they're your oxygen and you know, you, you miss them and without them, it's a little bit difficult right now and you wish that they would come back into your life. What else are we getting? But you've got to trust your own understanding, your own intuition and you've let go for a reason. You know that you, this is what you had to do because the situation was just, it was um toxic and you know, you knew that you had to walk away from it, even though they, you know, you're falling in love, they were your oxygen, you definitely knew that you had to let, um, let it go, um, because they need to be more flexible with your connection, and you were giving them everything, and they weren't giving anything back in return, so, um, you've decided to walk away, because you want a more balanced outcome, all right, so I'm just going to um, go with one more message. So what is the um, what is the future of this connection? What is the potential outcome? Um, what does this person want to do moving forward? I'm just concentrating on the cards, guys. Sorry, I'm a bit sick today. So my intuition is um, a little bit slower than normal. So you're, this person sees you as a gift. You're their present from um, the universe, um, which is beautiful. Uh, and they want to have a bountiful harvest with you. So this card's about abundance. Um, you're their abundance. You're their happy family. You're their ten of cups, their ten of pentacles. And we'll just get one more from the Oracle deck. Um, and they just want peace, ultimately. They don't want to be in separation with you anymore. They want to come back together because you're their gift, their treasure. Um, they've realized your value and they want you back. Um, they want this bountiful harvest with you. And they no longer want to be yearning for you. They no, no longer want to be pining for you. And they just want peace in the connection. So that's a beautiful message. I hope that that resonates with you guys and gives you a bit of hope for the future.